No. Was there a conspiracy to kill President Trump? Absolutely not. Then how did this happen? And why are you still sitting here not turning in your letter of resignation? L last question, but please answer, and then I'll recognize Ms. Presley. Please answer that question. Directly. That is what we are investigating to determine. We're, we're waiting for your letter. We're waiting for your letter of resignation. And you, you really need to consider doing that before you leave today. After a brutal hearing yesterday at the House Oversight Committee, the director of the Secret Service, Kimberly Cheadle, has now resigned. This is related to her failure, the agency's failure to prevent the assassination attempt against Donald Trump in Pennsylvania. Members during the hearing from both sides of the aisle called either for her resignation or for her firing. Watch. It is my firm belief, Director Cheadle, that you should resign. Not only should you resign if you refuse to do so, President Biden needs to fire you because his life, Donald Trump's life, and all the other people which you protect are at risk because you have no concept of the aspect that the security footprint needs to be correlated to the threat. Look, I'm not questioning your judgment. I, and I just don't think this is partisan. If you have an assassination attempt on a president, a former president, or uh, a candidate, you need to resign. I call upon you to resign today, today. You do need to resign. This is bipartisan. You need to be fired. You do not need to hold this position. You are not the best for this job. I don't want to add to the director's uh, terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. Um, but I, I will be joining the chairman in uh, calling for the resignation of the director just because I think that the, this relationship is um, irretrievable at this point. And I think that uh, the director has lost the confidence of Congress. And that was ranking a Democrat on the committee, Jamie Raskin of Maryland. He joined James Comer, the Republican chairman from Kentucky, in even sending an official letter calling for Cheadle's resignation. This morning, Cheadle announced her resignation in an email to Secret Service employees. She wrote the Secret Service. A solemn mission is to protect our nation's leaders and financial infrastructure. On July 13th, we fell short on that mission. The scrutiny over the last week has been intense and will continue to remain as our operational tempo increases. As your director, I take full responsibility for the security lapse. Um, this is according to ABC News. In light of recent events, it is with a heavy heart that I've made the difficult decision to step down as your director. This incident does not define us. I do not want my calls for resignation to be a distraction from the great work each and every one of you do towards our vital mission. Uh, that's from the Washington Post. As previously reported, uh, many lawmakers believe that Cheadle was not cooperating uh, with the congressional investigations in the shooting. She was skirting around some of the basic questions about what went wrong and why. And she seemed to be taking far too long to deliver a report. Nine days after the shooting, she said she needed, well, another 60 days in order to deliver a full report. Well, Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez gained respect even from the Republican social media crowd who said hell is freezing over when they agreed with AOC. Um, AOC ripped into Cheadle over the lengthy time to prepare this report. Director Cheadle, respectfully, uh what you had just laid out about 60 days. Uh, we are currently in the midst of a um, of, of an especially concentrated presidential campaign in the moment. Uh, that is also paired with, of course, elections happening across the country that are happening in about 100 days. So the notion of a report coming out in 60 days when the threat environment is so high in the United States irrespective of party, is not acceptable. And so we have one thing now that Democrats and Republicans have agreed on, and that is that the Secret Service Director should be fired or resign. And in fact, now she has done just that, she has resigned. Thoughts, Jen? Yeah, so this is the biggest no-brainer of all time. Of course, uh, she should have either been fired or, re or resigned. But uh, of those two options, I would have definitely gone with fired. And I would have gone with that within two days. I would not have taken this long. And so I think that leads to a different issue. But first, let me just say, hey, bipartisanship, thank God. When was the last time you saw that happen? So finally, a little bit of agreement. I mean, this is such an easy one, but I'll take it. But in terms of um, the issue that this brings up that isn't related to the actual attempt is who's in charge? And so look, I know the administrative state is in charge largely both under Republican and Democratic presidents. And I get 
that hey, when like I run a company, but that doesn't mean I make every single decision. No, I delegate and people do their jobs and they're very good at doing their jobs and I don't interfere with it, right? Um, but having said that, the buck stops with the person in charge, right? So Joe Biden, this is not a small thing. This is not, hey, you know what, the undersecretary to Norway can handle our relationship on XYZ. This is somebody took a shot at the president and came with a uh, former president and came within an inch of killing him. This is a massive issue. I need to get on this. And Biden is just nowhere to be found. I mean, he, I get it that he had COVID, COVID and obviously he's thinking about his own presidential race and his career and his legacy and he's obsessed with that. I understand all of that. But you still have to be president and it should not have taken this long and he should have taken action earlier. So let's be honest about that. So this, her stepping down was absolutely inevitable, but it took too long and, and in doing so, kind of revealed that there, we need a more steady hand on the wheel. Joe Biden's gotta get back to being in charge of, of running the country. And I know, I know his mental state, I've talked about it more than anybody else. And, and I know he couldn't do the campaign and be president at the same time. But if he says he can be president still, okay, there's only a couple of months left here, about four to six months left. And the administrative state runs a lot of things. But still, let's get some hands on the wheel here, because that was unacceptable. I agree, I just think it's ironic that uh, because Joe Biden, at least in the first 24 hours after this, I thought he handled this well in terms of his media appearances, his statements, his speech to the nation. The person who totally dropped the ball in terms of the media narrative and getting out in front of all these questions was Kimberly Cheadle. We never heard from her. I mean, she could have come out a day later and said, this was terrible, this was a mistake. Here's what we know so far about the motive of the shooter. Here's what we know so far about why the Secret Service somehow missed this particular rooftop and the shooter was able to get up. But by not saying anything, it just seemed gent to sort of feed the conspiracy theories and the questions. And it seemed like, well, the Secret Service is hiding something. And it, it turns out they were hiding something. This was an even greater failure a blunder by the Secret Service and the local police than we initially thought the day this this happened. And I think at that point with the Secret Service director not getting out in front of the story as it was emerging, she was she was doomed and rightfully so. Yeah, I mean, look, if I was the head of the Secret Service and somebody missed by an inch, I'd think, oh, I'm already fired, right? Or I would know that I wouldn't wait to get fired, I would resign. I would just try to find out exactly what happened as quickly as I could and then I would do the right thing and say obviously I tender my resignation. So as she put it in her own testimony, the worst operational failure in decades. Well, you can't not resign if you did the worst job in decades. <laughs> it was absurd. I can't believe she said that and didn't resign immediately. So yeah, it was more than a long time coming. Uh, and somebody in the government's gotta take personal responsibility for something. And at a bare minimum, that was huge incompetence and negligence. And that's exactly why you should be relieved of duty. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun, but you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video, thank you.